A warning tonight that climate change will unleash a torrent of toxins into the San Francisco Bay. This is one of the sites environmentalists are worried about here. It looks like a big parking lot. See that right there? But underneath, toxic heavy metals. It's located just west of the Carquinas Bridge. It's owned by the state's land commission and an oil company, but the state is responsible for deciding what happens to it. NBC Bay Area's Jody Hernandez reports, despite meetings, proposals, and promises, cleanup isn't even close to starting. Lots of buildings in a one of the largest smokestacks in the world. Don Zampa spent a lot of time as a kid on the shores of the Carquinas Straits. His great grandfather came from Italy to work in the former smelting plant called Selby Works. As young kids, we enjoyed watching the big gondola cars move the uh, molten metal down into the piles, which would be piled way over here, and then they would pour it out and it would splash like, uh, like you would see uh, lava flow in Hawaii. We'd play on it. Play army or what have you on the cooler sides of the slag pile. Millions and millions of little bits of, you know, cubes of slag. Little did he know the piles of slag left behind when the plant closed were toxic. After extracting precious metals for nearly a century, the company abruptly shut down operations in 1971, tearing down the plant and the company housing and leaving behind the toxic waste or what's called slag. In the 1980s, the Selby slag landed on the list of state Superfund sites, which put the Department of Toxic Substances in charge of cleaning it up. Then 12 years later, it was paved over with concrete, which environmentalists call a Band-Aid fix that's now failing. Recently, Baykeeper investigated Selby Slag shoreline and found that the shoreline is actively eroding into the bay. That means that huge amounts of toxic contaminants are falling into the bay. The San Francisco Baykeeper has been monitoring the situation. It points to this state data that shows the slag was already leaking in 2006. The yellow markers mean the waters near the slag tested positive for levels of lead, mercury, and nickel at concentrations guaranteed to be harmful to any living thing. And scientists say climate change will make matters worse, turning this into an environmental catastrophe. Now, with sea level rise concerns, uh, Baykeeper is very concerned that the level of toxic leaching from the site is actually going to increase pretty significantly over the next few decades. The Department of Toxic Substances Control has been discussing a new fix now for years. They say their draft plan calls for dredging and excavating the slag from the bay, then placing a new asphalt cover on it and finally installing a seawall to keep the tides from coming into contact with it. They say the earliest that cleanup would start, 2024. Just trying to put a seawall around this is, so, is really laughable. It's kind of a ridiculous proposal and a ridiculous solution. Baykeeper says toxins need to be removed from the site altogether, and the cleanup needs to happen right away. You're not really going to eliminate the toxins unless you excavate them and remove them from the site entirely. From where I'm standing, you can see why the baykeeper is so concerned. The water is splashing up against the shoreline, eating away at the asphalt cap, and the water is only going to rise. Well, the site is closed to the public. Folks who live nearby say it's a big worry. Some are descendants of smelting plant workers. My great great grandfather came over from Italy to work in the smelting plant. Everyone who lives in the area wants to feel safe. I love it down here, and I'd, I'd like for it to, to be a, a safe environment to raise a, a family for sure. For the kids who grow up here, I'm very worried. That's really dangerous, so dangerous, because a lot of people still fish out here. A lot of people. You can go up and down the straits and see people fishing. And they, we know they eat the fish. Environmentalists say it's not just the immediate neighborhood at risk, but the entire region. They say cleaning up the Selby slag can't be put on hold any longer. In Contra Costa County, Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.